hey everyone welcome back to codes of and channel so in previous video uh, we have discussed about what is app application nothing but and how many types of uh, application developments are there and how many types and all and particularly we have discussed about um, how to create a uh, you know what things we need to know about uh, you know develop building a android app and building a ios app so if you haven't watched this video i'll provide the link in description please go, go and watch it you will get a better idea okay so in this video we are going to discuss about react native how it came to picture you know and apart from that who are revolvers to this um, you know react native who is nothing but who is competition to this react native and okay and what uh, stands out uh, comparing to those uh, like you know other competition okay these are the things we are going to discuss about and um, is it needed uh, i'll say yes it is needed because without uh, you know logic behind how react native you know uh, handles you can't we cannot directly jump into coding part and all you know learning things and all okay if you're watching this first time um basically i do react native videos and i have done a lot of many more projects you can check out from here this playlist okay and everything i have done it for beginners itself only not for like advanced who knows coding things and all i have explained everything and all so yeah if you haven't subscribed my channel please do subscribe follow for more videos on react native and without wasting time let's start the video okay um if you see uh, these are the things which we have discussed in my in our previous video what is application and uh, how many types of applications are there and we have discussed about android users and apple you know apple application nothing but and to create android app we need to you know learn these many things i have, I have already explained in detail for beginners you can watch my first video okay if you haven't watched i'll put the link in description go and watch it you will get a better idea and we have explained you about emulators simulator different between emulators and simulators as well and um, you know to create android application we need this much of things okay now um, we now in this video we are going to discuss about react native okay um i told that if i want to create um, i have a idea in my mind and i need to create a app for both users android and apple um so i need to you know build so to create android app i need to learn this many things and i need to do it and to create ios app i need to learn this many things i need to do it but what if someone tells that uh, instead of learning these many things and uh, you know instead of learning this many things nothing but for uh, like you know uh, building the separate app for android and building the separate app for ios do one thing i'll give you one coding platform um, just write it in a single um, you know single uh, single way in a single coding language and i'm going to give you both apps how exciting it is is it easy or what it's easy only right so let me teach you to uh, to create an app in and react native basically i'm going to explain you also what is react native so basically react native is a framework Okay, let me write it here step one um basically react native is a framework uh, built for uh, cross pla uh, cross platform application development okay i'm going to explain this definition also okay no issues cross platform development then okay uh, second thing to keep in mind that who built this react native obviously we all use facebook right uh, facebook developed react native okay let's uh, discuss about the first line okay and second line obviously you guys all know that um, you know nothing but there is no much no need to you know discuss about this thing <coughs> so uh, basically facebook introduced react native okay perfect so let's focus on majority of this uh, focus on this single line now what exactly this line take uh, you know telling so react native is a framework okay let's keep in mind that framework okay as of now just leave this for this looks like some um, in a easy way if i tell you like framework it's like a some tool okay we'll consider it as it some tool 
okay uh, using this tool we can build cross platform app let me highlight it okay um doing this it okay okay let me add just highlight it with this blue color okay you can see it react native is a framework nothing but what is framework i said like a, for as of now easy purpose we'll understand it as a tool some tool certain tool uh, in our home we see like some screwdriver these things are right so using the screwdriver it will you know make our uh, whatever our requirement easy you know simple way right instead of making it complicated like this way react native will consider it as a some tool and we have one requirement to do one work to do it will it fulfill it you know it makes our work simply okay that's it now what exactly cross cross platform application development means now this is your doubt right can i say cross platform means two platforms okay somewhat we have simplified right can i say um let me write it here in fact two platforms okay you told like two platform no what two platform now you guys only tell me i just scroll back what we are right now discussing about mobile development okay perfect now if i go up how many types of users we have android users apple users perfect okay now can i say um, two platform development means can i say for android and apple users i can say right perfect done that's it nothing but cross platform application development means in a simple way using this tool we can build um, two apps for android users for apple users in a single line of structure instead of making this much complicated so this is how react native came into picture okay i hope you understood this video sorry i hope you understood this concept about react native what is react native and who built this react native and um, before jumping into um, you know uh, who are competition to this react native let's discuss few more things okay about react native i'm going to make it uh, in a much simple way only okay and um, as of uh, right now we in fact uh, in our life you know daily life we have using much more apps like lot of apps who what uh, those apps are built on Re using react native only if i take some example apps um, example apps are like i'll say our day to day daily we spend lot of time right watching reels instagram basically yes you heard right instagram built on using this framework only Instagram. Um, in fact, okay. Let me show you from Google only, now. React Native. Build apps. See Facebook, Insta, um, Discord, Skype. There are many more, and all are like not a some. Um, what do we call that? Not are like a. were small not like that these are like uh, too much user based apps like millions of installs are there in this app and they are using that means this framework is the using uh, user for you know uh, to build a large apps then suddenly you will get an uh, uh, doubt of like uh, can we use it for small apps yes we can use it absolutely but what i meant to tell you is like using this uh, this framework we can build you know complicated apps large apps nothing but you know see instagram there are millions of installs are there flipkart basically we use in day to day life using this you know a uh, walmart these are like meta ads manager this thing tesla even tesla tesla app also built on this only using react native uber eats i hope you can see in fact um, in our daily life we order food right zomato also built on this framework only react native okay i hope you understood right okay perfect and if you see a uh, lot of times we heard about react js react js okay let me give some shorter about that also okay so what is different between react and react native let me separate it one line so um why i am going to 
telling uh, you know uh, teaching you about this thing also means just for basic idea that you should aware of this thing it's not like uh, if you are learning if you are learning for mobile development if you are not learning about if you don't know about some remaining things also basic things also you know it will impact your knowledge thing for this purpose react js okay okay let me highlight this one and let me write it step 1 um, this is also uh, introduced by facebook obviously meta team only okay perfect then you will get an idea that uh, there is a react react what is matching in both uh, can we say both do same thing only like nothing but like uh, react js also uses for mobile development only no it's not no if i scroll up can i say uh, if you see able to see um, apps how many types of apps are there De desktop applications mobile applications web applications okay um let's focus on this part okay we heard we know that mobile development is there we uh, mobile development we can create in android studio and export our else for cross platform we can go with react native as of now as of our knowledge how much we learned let's focus on this word web applications so basically react js is a library okay and it is used to develop or can i say build web applications okay let me in fact let me write it here web application perfect <coughs> okay so first line we all know no need to you know um, explain about that line that line in itself explains what exactly that means so basically uh, react js is a library now if i zoom out you can say that uh, react native is a framework now react js is a library now what is different between library and framework okay Uh, I don't want to make you guys confuse about different between library and React, uh, like a uh, library and different between framework. Okay, I'm going to uh, explain it a much easy way right now. Uh, at a at a single video only, I'm not going to you know make uh, uh, tell you all the things, and I don't want to make you confuse. Okay, like uh, at the end uh, you will feel like why I'm confused. It's not like that. No, I don't want to confuse you guys. Okay, slowly we learn each word. Okay, so as of now. <clears throat> we we just came here to you know know about difference between react native and react js okay and after that i'm going to explain you about react native okay like this way also like for mobile app we need this many languages right we need to learn like this way so like this way okay um due to climate change i just got some this throat okay throat painting so okay uh, let's say ignore that one Okay, so basically React JS is used to you know develop web applications. Now, what does web application? We already know nothing but um, Facebook. Uh, what are the application we are running from through browser? Those are web application. We all know this thing. Perfect. Now, library. Uh, can I say it's like already built-in tool? Uh, built-in. You know everything was built-in there. All we need to do is like uh, if I take some example, let's say, uh, do you guys know Canva or we know photo edit some photo editing apps in mobile, right? Now, why I'm taking this uh, example of mobile app means uh, ignore that mobile app. If we open that app, there are some built-in tools available, right? Built-in tools in the sense like a painting thing, color, saturation thing, these and all. They are already built-in way, and we simply use those things, right? Like this, you can consider as of now, okay? perfect now we all know that react js like uh, what is react js do and what is different between react native and react js okay perfect now let's focus about to create a you know cross platform app using react native what things we need to learn okay let me write it here again Okay. 
to create a uh, you know to use this framework we need to know about javascript basically second thing um jsx now what does this jsx means i'm going to show you also wait i hope lot of guys you have expected html here but no it's not and obviously css okay there are few other comp uh, you know um, concepts are there but i don't want to make you guys uh, complicated as of now these are the three things we needed and uh, one more thing to add on coding platform platform okay let me highlight it here and let me explain you each everything okay so that you can understand that so javascript basically um, javascript basically you know where we handle the logic side okay i have already explained nothing but if i've created one button here and if i say uh, click okay let me write it properly here click now um, if, uh, if i want to do something on on this click of button how can i handle using this javascript nothing but logic whatever the app we want to do logically we need to you know we handle using javascript okay now you can ask me like uh, we don't know javascript and all don't worry this uh, as i said a to z that means i'm going to teach you everything okay whatever needed of what are the logical set everything we are going to learn i say again i'm repeating um even if i'm repeating again and again also that much confident i'm and i'm telling that even if you don't know anything also don't worry i'm going to teach you everything regarding the mobile app development at the end of this course you are going to you know create this many apps whatever i have already created in fact you are going to create your own apps also by yourself instead of other person's help okay perfect so now we know that why we use javascript javascript to basically use it to you know handle the logical side okay perfect now what is jsx somewhat somehow this is a new word right if you are known like html css and all mostly you heard lot this only let me write it here what is jsx <coughs> javascript xml hold on i guess somehow okay javascript we know okay uh, let's xml this thing okay we heard about xml right can we let's scroll up you guys heard uh, you guys uh, i have explained about, uh, can i say xml is there any matching thing um, yes uh, basically jsx stand for javascript xml and what does it do it gives a we create a ui basically structure we will create nothing but um in our easy way can i say uh, let's create one house okay just i'm just creating a simple house uh, can i say like uh, these are the pillars alignment nothing but how exactly your ui wants to look like alignment nothing but uh, like uh, this way if i take if i created one box okay again i am explaining okay no issues let's have created this box okay nothing but uh, this is one box here and using how i created using jsx okay if it's similar to android xml no it's not by word it stand for xml like it matches but it um, it's completely you know different to xml and this jsx okay basically react uh, reacts provides us to uh, us to write uh, xml in single file okay this is the beauty of the react native where we able to you know write our it's like a syntax kind of similar to html but it's not um, you know um, in fact i'm going to show you also no issues okay as of now we uh, we know that okay javascript is used to handle the you know logic side and jsx is used to you know create a structure okay structure okay keep in mind that we have created that few pillars okay let's say pillar 1 pillar 2 pillar 3 okay let me name it in fact pillar 1 pillar 2 pillar 3 pillar 4 okay perfect now what does css tells 
सी एस एस स्टैंड फॉर यू नो कैसकैडिंग स्टाइल शीट बेसिकली इट वॉज इफ यू फील लाइक इट इफ यू फेल लाइक इट वॉज बिट कॉम्प्लिकेटेड वर्ड इग्नोर दैट यू कैन सिंपली टेल सी एस एस एट दी एंड ऑफ द डे यू शुड नो अबाउट वॉट इज सी एस एस इट डजेंट मीन दैट यू शुड नो अबाउट हु इज फाउंडर हु इज um you know uh, how at the end nothing but all I'm, what i'm going to tell you is like you should know about how to use a css that's it simple so css tells like what type of coloring uh, can i say styling itself css stand for cascading style sheet okay it that name itself uh, conveys that it uses to you know style nothing but uh, if we have a house and uh, we have a walls and all we do painting right color scheme and all these things we do using css perfect we all know that uh, if i say like um, okay let me in fact color it here like uh, see i have colored it red color i have colored it uh, this pillar i have colored it using blue color whatever color i want to do style in fact um, i can you know let's say i have created this block okay in this shape now i want to create this block into some curved you know curved radius and something this shape some rectangle and if i want to move anything and line these things and these things also i can do it using css okay nothing but a uh, style all we need to all i need to tell you is like styling part everything will handle using css okay perfect now if i uh, if you see there is a fourth is also there coding platform um now you can ask me like ian uh, is this means android studio and xcode no no not like that to write a code we need some um, let's say if i want to write something on uh, with pen i need some paper or book right like this way can i say to write a code i need some platform right so in this whole course we are going to um, use vs code basically it's a coding platform it's not online coding in fact i'm going to show you also this was uh, built by microsoft okay so majority of the developers even if you go to job also it jobs and also developers majority of the developers use this only and you have asked right what is uh, jsx uh, this is how you, it looks and don't get confused it's looking right now you are new to this thing right for this reason uh, it's looking like bit complicated like uh, do you able to do that or not uh, it's pretty much easy i'm going to make it easy okay no issues as of now just see like this is it's um just see the syntax it's looking like somewhere closing tag and opening tag that means somewhere it looking like some html syntax right yes that's it okay let me close this so we are going to use this uh, vs code and there are few extensions basically so what exactly this will do it uh, you know makes our coding way much more faster comparing to that okay coding platform we are going to in fact let me write it here we are going to use vs code but uh, one more thing what exactly react native tells is like do one thing create um, whatever your idea using these things instead of for android uh, you know using writing the logic in java instead of for ios app writing logic in swift and for creating ui in android app instead of writing uh, you know instead of creating ui in xml react native telling that do one thing logically handle for both apps for ios also for android also logically handle using javascript using my framework uh, create ui in cs uh, J, jsx and css okay using these three uh, you can one more thing to keep in uh, add on thing like a for coding platform you can use some other also let's say there is a you, we can use android studio also okay but uh, vs code makes uh, you know there are lot of extensions available in fact i'm going to explain it also as of now just vs code nothing but it's a uh, concept it's like a some book where we write our code that's it simple way so basically what exactly react native tells is like using these things you uh, create this uh, whatever your app write those logic inside this and create styles uh, structure ui everything here and i'm going to convert that into i'm going to give you into a two apps basically react native is telling nothing but okay in a easy way in fact let me draw it here so that you can able to you know visualize that what exactly i mean
react native apk ipa no what exactly this means um in fact let me you guys you can it's uh, you yourself can guess it okay perfect so basically the this tool telling that um whatever you uh, whatever you want to write using but i'll give you the coding things it's not like you should use java only not like that i gave you set of instructions like set of coding things you need to create uh, you need to whatever you want your idea create that app uh, create that uh, write that logic code everything inside uh, using react native framework and this framework is telling that i'm going to give you two builds for android also for ios also instead of creating for each uh, learning those things and instead of doing see this but uh, basically this react native framework simply made our life you know uh, creating building the application in a e you know easy way to make our really simple way comparing to these things like native side see if i want to create app i need to do i need to learn java xml and uh, you know again generating these things and all and for ios again i need to learn swift ios these things and all it simply you know made our life much easy way to you know create a app for both ios and for android so this is what react native do and let's discuss about uh, this react native word form uh, react native computation basically if you are if you heard this keyboard basically in fact let me write it here Flutter. You heard this word somehow. If you haven't heard, also it's fine. I'm going to explain you that. So uh, basically, Flutter also do the same thing only. But um, in fact, let me write here uh, Flutter for Flutter structure basically. Like what exactly Flutter? So to um, first point, Flutter was built by. google perfect so second thing um flutter is also a flutter is a framework used to uh, develop cross platform application perfect can we say uh, let me make it this one and let me minimize this thing so that huh. see flutter was for uh, okay first thing uh, flutter was built by google we all know google right in, in fact see this company google only build this flutter okay perfect now flutter is also framework used to develop cross platform application and we all know that what is cross platform application basically okay cross platform application now you have a doubt like then why we are using react native flutter is built by google now so first thing i'm not going to explain you also i'm going to show you also started year 2013 okay basically react native is a fam uh, famous framework for mobile app development started in 2013 okay perfect um let's search for google uh, flutter Two thousand seventeen. okay let me write it here okay so that we cannot forget that thing first point 2013 okay i'm going to i'm writing the year here okay <clears throat> and here also let me write it here first point 2017 it came to it's like nothing but uh, you know it available for all 
first time uh, users also you know inter uh, flutter was introduced nothing but what i'm going to tell you is like okay perfect so basically if you see the gap between uh, by the time uh, react native you know facebook introduced react native from there everyone switched to cross platform side nothing but instead of making this much complicated everyone switched to react native that okay we can simply use, we can learn javascript jsx and css and that's it we can simply create ios app also and android app also that too we can build large platform uh, you know large complicated apps also using react native framework from there uh, literally everyone switched to react native basically i said facebook instagram everything everything they just what are the apps the available and both famous both are like all apps are switched to react native framework perfect now let me write it uh, keep in uh, why i'm telling this step i'm going to explain that also okay um i don't know okay let me write it here majority of the famous apps switched from native side to react native okay this is the uh, very very important thing in fact i'm going to explain it i'm going to tell you why exactly this means okay just keep in mind that this second line was the very very important line basically okay let me make it native side to react native okay perfect why i told this um and second thing um comparing to this flutter um this react native has a very large development community okay now what exactly this means uh let me explain you that so from 2013 it started so law what are the developers who are available from who are working on native side let me write it react native uh, from native side to whoever the developers available you know from there from 2013 they all switched to this framework react uh, basically these people literally uh, whole developer community developer community because it made our you know uh, like simple right as i have already explained okay and uh, what are the majority of the tech industry switch to react native now you can tell me and uh, now you can tell me um, let's say instagram uh, facebook and these things and all many more in fact zomato blinkit and all um comparing to uh, these things and all uh, where will we find the majority of jobs in it uh, do we find from flutter or react native now you got your answer right why i have told you you know important so majority of the tech industry still go working on react native because they cannot switch from react native to flutter now but now you can you will get an doubt that that means that flutter is waste or useless only no it's not recently from right now it's you know booming comparing to react native in fact it has also positives like uh, you can create beautiful ui in fact let me write it here beautiful um, you know uis basically and uh, from google side you will we'll get much more support google nothing but google side configurations we can get we can do it e easily comparing to config configurations um okay just ignore this spelling as of now configurations okay easily comparing to react native okay because um, as i said flutter itself developed by google and um, 
and uh, advantages are like for react native even if you stuck somewhere let's say and there are a lot of dependencies nothing but packages are available now what exactly this packages and all means um i'm not going to write it here because i don't want to make you complicated okay as of now in a easy layman words nothing but in a easy word we can understand that okay so uh, majority of the what of the apps available they are switched to react native because uh it made our work simple way and flutter also do same thing but uh let's in fact i haven't tried did i write or haven't tried flutter okay let me write the flutter structure quickly what coding language it use why uh, then why a lot of members now currently switching to flutter means in fact i'm going to tell you also flutter uses uh, to create a flutter app nothing but to use uh, to build the cross platform app using flutter framework we need to learn a language called dart now you can ask me like i am where this dart language came from uh, google itself you know developed this language created this language and okay you told like dart is a language i am assuming that this major mainly this use for um, handle logical side only right this is what you mean right you will tell me i'll say no dart language is used for both this is how it stand from react native basically okay flutter um nothing but this flutter came and it telling that instead of learning that many languages you know nothing but to create a cross platform app instead of learning javascript jsx css these three things dart is telling that learn single language it you know made even more easier by telling um dart telling uh, just ha uh, i'll handle logic side also i'll handle ui side also ui side also ui now if you don't know what is ui means user interface nothing but what are the design can i uh, in easy way i'll tell like a design set what are the design set you want to we can handle using a single language nothing but if you want to go with flutter it's a easy turn for everyone like um, dart nothing but just simply learn one single language dart and you can you are good to go with you know you can create app easily you can handle dart using log logically you can handle ui using dart that's it just with single language uh, you can handle logical side and ui side also this is the plus point for flutter then you can ask me like then why we are learning flutter i mean nothing but why we are learning react native we can directly learn flutter only na because it's a easy this is your question right now i have mentioned here stars right majority of the famous app which from native side to react native because from there it started so can i say if you want to find jobs and all where you will find majority comparing to if i uh, if i put balance so if i draw a line you can itself you can guess that this is react native means uh, this line is flutter you can majority of jobs you can find from react native because that line itself justifies that majority of companies are still go working on react native only okay for this reason we are learning react native okay perfect and it has a large developer community even if you stuck somewhere you can get help there are a lot of bunch of documents are available on browser internet you can simply review you know go through those document you can simply solve that and now you can ask me that flutter doesn't have document it's there but comparing to the you know uh, flutter came into picture but it was bit delay you know already react native occupied the whole market at this time and in fact right now flutter is also booming in fact one of these uh, recently app which is uh, famous and currently you can you can see uh, crud in fact let me write it here um crud basically built on using built on using uh, flutter itself and google ads also built on using flutter only there are many there are lot of right now flutter is booming on but i'll say that thing that what out the logically this react native implementing ui side and all if you learn react native you can easily switch to flutter because the core concept is same for both two things okay nothing but i hope you understood right perfect 
so this is what i want to explain you about the difference between react native and now in these two videos we we learned a lot of you know we have learned a lot of things like what how many types of app developments how many ways are there and how to create mobile apps and how to create a web apps and i have one more thing to discuss not discuss it short thing to tell you like okay we know that mobile apps mobile application development using this many things we all know that web application we can develop using uh, react js and angular same like a flutter like a react js was developed by facebook we all know that in the same way angular this is also a library built by google okay to develop web applications okay perfect now what about desktop applications can you give me this hint also if you can ask me i'll say desktop we can create desktop in fact uh, to add on like we can create a desktop applications also using both platforms react native and flutter yes you heard correctly like uh, we can create desktop applications also using react native framework as well as flutter also okay perfect i hope you understood and uh, yeah in the next video we are going to you know set up the react native framework okay so don't miss that video and i'm going to explain you i'm going to show you guys okay the setup con setup and configurations everything of react native okay thanks for watching i'll see you in the next video bye bye now